When you're working on a project, you need to do regular checkups to see if everything is going according to plan. In this video, I'll show you how to keep track of a project by creating a report that compares the time that's been planned versus the actual time that's been worked on a project. This kind of report can give you valuable insights into how well your project is going. Is your planning accurate? Can you see where the problems are? You'll get the data that you need to help you make effective decisions going forward. First off, I need to have both Tempo Timesheets and Tempo Planner installed so that I can compare the logged and planned time on a project. I also need to have certain team permissions to generate the report. So I'll click the Teams icon, then go to my Teams page, and open the permissions. I need both the View Team Work Logs and View Team Plans permissions to have access to both types of data. I'm a team lead, so I have these permissions by default. But I could create a permission role to give them to other people, either in or outside the team. So let's get to that report. I've been working with my team for a while, planning work for them on these projects in Tempo Planner. And using Tempo Timesheets, we've been logging our time to the JIRA issues for these projects. So now I want to see how these projects are going. I'll open Reports from the sidebar and click Plan versus Actual. Here I can choose a filter to show only what I need. And you can filter for different things, as you see here. I'm going to select Teams and then select Team Cafe, which is the team I was just looking at. I could add my other teams here, but I'll focus on just this one. Now I can decide how I want to group that filtered data, and I want to see the projects that my team worked on. I could also group the data by each of the users or by account to get a different perspective. But I can select only one option here since data can be compared only on one category at a time. And I click Create. And I'm seeing data, but it doesn't look like there's many hours yet. And that's because the time period here isn't what I want. So I need to change that. I'll choose Current Quarter so that I see all the planned and log time for these three months. Now I can see the two values compared here. The blue line is the planned time for each project. And the gray line is the actual log time. The variance between these two is shown here as a percentage. My goal is to have the same amount of log time as planned time by the end of the quarter, or at least pretty close to it. Here, the difference between the logged and planned time is around 25%, which means that my planning is pretty much on track so far with only a few weeks left in this quarter. On these two projects, there's quite a bit more log time than planned, so it seems that I really underestimated how much time this work would take. And here I see the internal issues such as vacations. Most of my team members will be taking their vacations at the end of the quarter, so the time is just planned, but not all logged yet. So by regularly running this report during the lifetime of the project, I can monitor and evaluate how my team is doing. It gives me the data that I need to make changes, such as increasing or decreasing the number of resources on certain tasks. And this way, I can have the team perform as efficiently as possible. And for future projects, I'll be able to forecast resource requirements better because I can make estimates based on my team's past performance. Now I want to save this report so that I can run it again later, and I'll do that from up here. I get a reminder that this is a dynamic period report, which means that the time and date will be updated based on the current date every time I run this report. This is useful for creating report templates, and I'll do that here by calling this my quarterly project checkup. And click Save Report. The next time I want to run my report, I go back to the main reports page and just click that report. And all my data is here. I can also export my report from here to be printed. And it creates a file that I can print and of course, I can save it to PDF to share it with others or print later. So that's how to create a report that helps you check if your project is going according to plan and gives you insights into where you may need to make changes.